Well, behavioral economics is a relatively new field, or at least in that name, it's been around for only about 15 years. And it aims to take an understanding of psychology and embed it with principles of economics to try to motivate human behavior. Lots of people think that if they use economics to motivate behavior, like pay people to help uh, influence them, they're engaging in behavioral economics. Actually, no, they're engaging in economics. It becomes behavioral economics when you use these psychological tricks to, to sort of uh, juice up the motivation uh, that you might otherwise use with purely economic approaches. It's not been used very often in healthcare. It's increasingly being used, but I think healthcare is lagging some other industries that have applied behavioral economics much more successfully. So, for example, ret the retail industry or the financial services sector, both of these sectors have used principles of behavioral economics to great effect, and I think this is a great opportunity for healthcare to get on board. So I think healthcare can take its lead from other industries that have used behavioral economics much more effectively uh, and much more consistently. I think that retail, particularly online retail, has used a variety of techniques that are really designed to motivate consumers to direct them to particular goods and services. If you think about it, that's exactly what we want to do in the healthcare setting as well. It's just we want to help our patients get to the right healthcare goals that they share themselves, and we want to help our clinicians and our healthcare managers to help achieve those goals as well. So I think many of the same principles that have been so successful at retail, from retail organizations to get consumers to do certain things, can be applied in the healthcare setting as well. So one of the things that's particularly interesting about healthcare is that the patients and the clinicians have the same goal. Everyone wants the patient to uh, reduce his or her blood pressure, to reduce his or her chances of getting cancer. Uh, and the patients want that. The, tr the trouble isn't that they're aiming at the wrong goals, it's that they have a hard time achieving the goals that they already have. So I think behavioral economics offers a, a great set of opportunities for us to help patients get to the goals they already have. What do we need to do to reduce the burden, reduce the friction of taking your antihypertensive to manage your blood pressure better? How do we uh, help design an insurance product so that patients make much better choices of managing the healthcare dollar than they might otherwise make? These are all little tricks that we can use that we can get advice from marketing uh, in a variety of other settings that help patients ultimately achieve the goals they already have as opposed to directing them uh, down a path that they didn't have.